Welcome to Midwest Architecture and Design. My name is Jordan Powers. I am an architectural photographer based in Southern Minnesota, photographing projects across the Midwest and beyond for architects, designers, and builders. So this is the first episode of this podcast. Um, I'm assuming you found this through somebody sharing with you, or maybe you just stumbled across it in some searches, or you saw it online somewhere. Welcome, and I hope you enjoy what you hear. This is the very first episode, obviously, and I wanted to put this out just to kind of tee you up for what you're getting into. Uh, So let me tell you a little bit about who I am and and why this podcast even is happening in the first place. So as I mentioned, I'm a photographer based in Southern Minnesota. I started doing photography professionally back in 2005, 2006 actually. And uh, I've been photographing ever since. I started photographing the built environment exclusively in 2011. And uh, I've been doing it ever since. Now, I mentioned I live in Southern Minnesota. And as you can imagine, there's not a whole lot of architecture happening in this immediate region. So I do a lot of traveling for my work. And one of the challenges that I face as a photographer is getting new clients and meeting new people. And most of that is because, again, I'm just not in a place where a lot of those are in abundance. So I was working with a business coach a few years back and one of the suge- one of the things that was uh, discovered, I guess, is that while I had been photographing the built environment for a long time, over 10 years, I didn't really have a very good understanding of what my clients uh, go through, what the what that process looks like for them. And in turn, it it's not that my photography suffers from that, but I could grow in my photography if I had a better understanding of what was involved in the process. Now, this conversation with my business coach happened a few years ago. And at the time, the the suggestion was, hey, maybe just reach out to some potential clients that you want to work with, invite them out for coffee or for lunch, and just ask them questions about their business, about their process, about what their struggles, and just get to know them a little bit better. And I have to be honest, I'm not somebody who likes to just go and bother somebody for their time and and just get coffee and lunch. Um, I I feel like, I don't know, I'm I'm more of a a person that those settings are for friendships and and currently established business relationships. But to to solicit people to go do that, I just didn't feel comfortable with that. However, I thought, hey, maybe uh, we could add some value here and turn this into a podcast and help you know, if it give, get their name out there in exchange for half hour, 45 minutes, 60 minutes of their time. So that's what I decided to do. So instead of going them and having a one-on-one private conversation where I'm just getting information and they're getting a free lunch, I thought, hey, why not just turn this into a podcast? So that's what we're doing. And uh, the, the idea with this podcast is not just to have an audio only podcast. Uh, I want it to be visual because one of the main things I decided up front is that I want to go to their location and I wanted to see what their environment looked like. Not, not, to, not just from a design perspective, but just to understand what, what the space looks like that they're working in every single day and how that influ- influences their work. How if, if, they're, if they have a, a team environment, um, how they're able to work together and collaborate and whatnot, uh, how they use their space to inspire them as well. Now, I don't plan on talking about their spaces uh, that much, uh, if at all, in these interviews, so you won't be seeing like tours of their of their office environments, but we will be recording in their environment so you can at least see the background and, and, and where they're working. And I'll probably also have little snippets of uh, just behind the scenes floating throughout the podcast as well. Another reason I started this podcast is because I know that I'm not the only, even though I'm a photographer and that's primarily what I photograph, I'm not the only person in the Midwest or in the world that's interested in what's happening in the Midwest for architecture. I think the Midwest is generally underrepresented uh, when it comes to like the magazines and online, like people are, they seem to be primarily focused on the coasts or destination areas, but there's a lot happening in the Midwest in terms of architecture and design and I wanted to help highlight that a little bit. You know, I'm not, I'm certainly not the top photographer. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not somebody that's like sought after necessarily. I'm just an average photographer who's trying to grow my business and learn more about the subject that I'm photographing. Now this podcast, I'm actually, as of right now, at least I'm only planning on doing maybe 10 episodes. I, I don't have a, a long-term plan for this podcast. I, I really just wanted to focus on interviewing current clients and clients that I either have a a future shoot set up with 
or clients that I, they're kind of just clients that I really would like to work with and get to know them a little bit better. And I guess while we're on the subject, if you are an architect or a designer or a builder, uh, somewhere in the Midwest, anywhere in the Midwest, and you have a project uh, down, coming up down the line, and you'd like to uh, talk to uh, talk about it being photographed, we can certainly do that, and uh, maybe talk about having you on this podcast as well, and uh, learn a little bit about your process. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That's the reason why I'm making this podcast, and I just wanted to kind of tee you up with what to expect going forward, uh, in, in, at least for the foreseeable future on this podcast. Obviously, that could change. Again, I'm, I'm telling you all this right at the beginning of all this happening, so who knows what the future holds. If you'd like to follow me and learn a little bit more about me, you can follow me on Instagram at Jordan Powers without the vowels. That's J-R-D-N-P-W-R-S. And you can follow my website at jordanpowersphotography.com. That said, I'm releasing this simultaneously with episode one with Renee Keller. So you can go ahead and start watching or listening to that now. And uh, I hope you enjoy. And please, if you have any suggestions or feedback for this, please let me know. I'm all ears. I want to make this an enjoyable experience for everybody, not just myself. I know there's a lot of people out there who are interested in the built environment and architecture and design. And this podcast might be for you. So thanks so much for watching or listening. And I will see you in the future episodes. Thank you so much for listening to Midwest Architecture and Design. If you're an architect, designer, or builder and would like to collaborate on a project together and be interviewed on this podcast, please reach out to me at jordanpowers.com. Now, if you'd like to help keep me motivated to continue making these, just knowing that you found this worth watching or listening to is reason enough. So please do me a favor and subscribe wherever you're listening to this or watching so that I know what kind of reach this is getting. Also, if you're listening to the audio only version of this, you can watch the episode for free at MidwestArtDesign.com. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Jordan Powers without the vowels.